Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm on 17w17b. To all of you who do not know about this, yes, you can now trigger commands in vanilla Minecraft without command blocks. And it works very similarly to uh, resource packs. So I'm going to give you a quick fire tutorial on how to begin this because I myself have no experience with coding and I was able to do this very simple concept, this little arrow puzzle. So all I need to do right now to trigger this concept is just this command. So I'm going to explain all this very soon. Just press enter and I reach this red block. So let me do this one more time. Uh, there are 10 blocks between this one, well nine between this one and this one. And to activate it, all I need to do is press that. And I am now here preparing PokeCA to welcome Phoenix SC. Uh, so let me just show you guys how you can do this. There are no command blocks running this system. Let's get straight to it. Okay, so a couple of things first that I need to touch on. Number one, big thank you to Sly Slime. He it has been so helpful. Uh, his video, which I will link definitely in description. If you want to learn more about this, his channel is definitely worth checking out. Uh, with regards to this. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you can now activate so many clocks with only one tick. That means command block clocks are a thing of the past. So the repeating command blocks, I'm not sure whether they play much of a role anymore. They may still be required to activate a few things, but that means there is so much more efficiency going on. All of these commands are run by this, this file right here. So it's the thing that is replacing uh, achievements here. So how did I create this? First of all, let's go to your .minecraft. So percent app data percent, run that in your Windows search. So it's in your world folder. It's called test world for me. It's not in advancements. It is in data advancements. Then you need to create a folder. You can call it anything you want. I just call it test world underscore one. And you need to create a new text document. And it has to be a JSON file. Double click on that. Now, there is going to be a, uh, a skeleton that you need to copy in. If you're good at coding, this is probably something that you already know. But in any case, this is a huge advancement in the way commands are going to be run in maps. Sorry, that was perfect opportunity for a pun. So here is what you need to do first. It's criteria run trigger Minecraft impossible. I'm going to link a, uh, a Reddit post if you want to copy this, the, the bare bones. But this, I think, just means you cannot run this advancement uh, naturally in game. That's what I believe it means. So this is what the skeleton looks like when you copy it in. And then your commands go in here. What you need to do is just follow these instructions carefully. And this is what you should have. So just type in your commands as so, and then uh, within the uh, inverted commas, these things, and you need a comma after your first one. Uh, and then you type in your second one in the next line, just keep the structure going, the, these are tabs, uh, and then you just keep on typing each one after the line, after line, after line. Uh, and your last one does not need a comma. In fact, I think if you put a comma there, it breaks or something. <laughs> it probably doesn't. Uh, and these will activate in order within the same tick. So it will not progress one tick after the other. It will all be in the same tick. Okay, for instance, if I wanted the advancement to give the command say hello, uh, all I need to do is save, like so. Then let's go back to the world and reload your resource packs. That's how the Minecraft treats this, uh, this advancement thing, which makes sense. So after it's reloaded, and then I give myself, let's revoke the advancement first. So this is the, uh, the formatting of the advancement. So you need to do advancement, grant or revoke, you only, that means only this advancement, test world one, which is the name of the folder that I created, colon, and then the name of the file that you created. So mine was commands, if you recall. Let's revoke it. Let's grant it again. And you can see it says hello. Now note that the command is activated before it is granted. So then you just simply revoke it back and then grant it again to activate it again. Here are the commands that I put. This is basically a clock that I made. So I'm creating the objective clock dummy as my first command that I want to activate, comma. Then I'm revoking it. At s is a new specifier. It is simply targeting the person that is executing the command, so you. It's like at p, but at p doesn't work because this is from a file. It doesn't know who's doing anything. <laughs> so I am adding the score for clock uh, by one. Then I'm TPing myself uh, negative Z. That's how I did this, uh, this little system. This is negative Z, it's pointing towards negative Z. And it's doing this every time my score is less than 10. These two are skipped until my score is 10. So execute when my score is 10, it's gonna say a few things. These two are what they do. 
uh, then it's resetting my score for clock when I reach 11. Every time my score is less than 10, I'm granting the advancement to myself. Let's try and analyze what's happening here. Every time my score is less than 10, I'm going to have a score iterated by 1 for clock. Every time my score is less than 10, I'm teleporting negative Z. Every time my score is less than 10, I'm getting the advancement back. I'm also revoking it immediately afterwards. I'm revoking, then advancing, revoking, then advancing. It's like a clock. And I'm teleporting negative 1 each time my score is less than 10. Now, so let's assume my score is 10 right now. What happens when my score is 10? It's adding the scoreboard objective. It is revoking again. So I don't have the advancement right now. My score becomes 11 because it's added by 1. This will not work because my score is now 11. So I will not be teleported. Neither will these two. So it's already said the stuff in chat. My score for clock will be reset. So it will be deleted. And I will not get the advancement again. So it has reset everything but I've moved 10 blocks in the negative Z direction and everything's been reset. You're going to have to rewatch this part if you don't quite understand how the clocks work, but that is how you create a simple clock with advancements. So let's go over this again in game. Okay, so let's reload my resources. In terms of lag, I don't know how this works, but let's go back, let's revoke, and now let's grant, and I'll be teleported like so. So I've granted it, you can see that it triggered the say commands because my score was 10, and then my score has been reset. So let's go and do scoreboard objective set display sidebar clock. There's nothing there because uh, my score has been reset. So this is a very basic tutorial on how to use advancements to run commands. You don't need that many command blocks anymore. I, I think they're being phased out very slowly. Mark my words, command blocks will never be used anymore. No, they probably do. But hope you guys found this useful and I'll be learning this actively in the next uh, few weeks or so. Make sure to check out Sly Slime's video if you want more information. He has all the inside info. You should probably check it out anyway. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you found this informative and subscribe for more creative content. Thanks for watching. Take care.